Question 23. Dan does an experiment to find the value of pi. He measures the circumference and the diameter of a circle. He measures the circumference C as being 170 millimetres to the nearest millimetre. He measures the diameter D as 54 millimetres to the nearest millimetre. Dan uses pi is equal to C over D, circumference divided by diameter, to find the value of pi. Calculate the upper bound and the lower bound for Dan's value of pi. So what's that mean? It means because these have been rounded, there is the upper bound, which is the biggest possible value he gets for pi, or the lowest possible value for pi. So, let's first have a look at the rounding. Circumference C is 170 millimetres to the nearest millimetre. So it's already been rounded to the nearest millimetre, and that is 170. So that means it could be anywhere in between 170.5, because at 170.5 you would round up to 171. When you're talking about bounds though, you can use 0.5. Even though 0.5 would go up, you can use it as a bound. So 170.5 is the biggest it could have been. And 169.5 is the smallest it could have been. Because any less than 169.5, it would have got rounded to 169 millimetres to the nearest millimetre. So, let's find our upper bound. The upper bound... Because it's a division, to get pi as big as we can possibly get it, we need our biggest C and divide it by the smallest D. That's how you get a big number when you're dividing. The number on top, the number you've got, needs to be as big as possible, and the number on the bottom needs to be as small. Okay? So, the biggest possible C, 170, we're going to use as 170.5. We're going to divide that by the smallest possible d, so 54, the smallest, because it's the nearest millimetre, the smallest it could have been was 53.5. So work that out. 170.5 divided by 53.5, which is 3.186. Do I want to use a fraction? No. I'll just round, I'll just, uh, three decimal places. So 3.187. And uh, there's nothing about rounding in this, so you've just got to use uh, whatever rounding you want, basically. Lower bound. So we want the lowest possible. That's going to be found by making the number on top as small as possible, so 170, the smallest it could have been was 169.5 and divide it by a number that's as big as we can get it, so divide by D, diameter was 54 to the nearest millimetre, so the biggest it could have been was 54.5 and that gives us 169.5 divided by 54.5 which is 3.110 oh. I might as well keep that in because it's the uh, same number of decimal places so here we go, the upper bound 3.187 lower bound 3.110 oh. 